Durham Heritage Coast is, a, is an area and a section of landscape that covers about 13 miles. From the north of Seaham, where it meets Sunderland, down to the south at Crimden, where it runs into Hartlepool. The only people that use the beach was the sea coal people and fishermen. Nobody else was bothered because it was black, it was horrible. And ten years ago it was, just, it was just rank, it was just not very nice. And the average height of the beach had risen 25 feet. It's called me spoil. Oh, it's still, it's still there. It's hard, packed, yeah. solid, hard, packed. But the sea, it's is, listening all the time. It's just eating into it. You can see it happening all the time. It's the big shelves of level. it. Sea just eating away into it. You can see it, it happening. At one time, there was coal would wash up eight, ten feet deep, and the wagons were taking six, seven ton a time, and you can take 20, 20 loads out like that, and then come back the next day and do the same. And come back the next day and do the same. And then come back the next day. There's not a nut on the beach. Totally clean, gone. Yeah. The wind or the tide had changed, the sea condition, height of the tide, and it would just take it back out to sea. Ten years ago when I started here, you used to get fly tipping here every other day. It used to be a burnt out car at least once a month. And it wasn't this place where you'd feel comfortable down here, but now it's more acceptable to go and just be there. You know, just to visit, just to go for a walk. Just some people from outside the area coming in, people from all over Europe popping in. Like I said, the, the um, Get Carter Appreciation Society. <laughs> And like, say we have skylarks obviously nesting in these fields. The times of like, when people have gone across the middle of the fields at nesting, and I've gone across, excuse me, do you realise that we have nesting? We put signs up and explain, instead of going, get off my land, instead of doing all of that, you explain to them why you should be pleased that you've got like, they're one of the, becoming a much rarer sort of bird on your doorstep singing away. There's no better sound in, in the spring than hearing the skylarks singing away. And the, just the life coming back down there, they've got lobsters coming back, we've got little, they're like fluorescent. They're called nudie branch things mm. coming through, and they're, they're fantastic. Little cuttlefish coming in and everything, and See, it's just stream. nice that they used to go down and just with the hand be able to <coughs> scrape off sort of cold sludge. That's all they got on the beach, mm. and, that, and now the seaweeds are coming in, and so everywhere's starting to regenerate. I remember just the, them rocks all the age. We called the mussel rocks years ago, and used mm. to get mussels that big. The return, and now I've noticed I've, mm -hmm. I was along there the other week, and this is starting to come back. So mm -hmm. it's it's working. Definitely mm -hmm. yeah. cleaned up a lot. Yeah. More fish are caught on this particular beach than anywhere else. Right. It's one of the hot spots in all of the North East for yeah. fishing. You've got your fox shoals, um, cave hole, all fantastic spots for fishing. Because yeah. I've fished for years down here. Yeah. And it's the biggest they're getting big cod this year. But you do get you do get uh, cod in, in the, the summer and all on the beaches. But you get a lot of crabs. You know the, the crabs is eating all your bait before the fish get them. You know. And that's why they're all of, everybody else comes on these beaches, they're all ex miners, all of the sons of miners, you know, it's been a link, and they've come down to catch fish to put food on the table type of thing. You know. At one time the colliery was the centre of the community. Take that away, um, and then you haven't got that sense of community anymore. So it's trying to rebuild it in other ways. Uh, we've seen the coast transformed, uh, and we're trying to use that to power the regeneration in, in the communities really um, and there's you know there's still some big challenges but with views like that and a great asset um, you know I think the future looks really bright uh, and I think that's the same for a lot of county Durham communities that that sense of uh, community pride uh, is very strong oh yes it's a, a very very popular place Grimmedy. Oh, yes. and you find joggers and through the dean you know and uh, walkers and mm -hmm. walking clubs and <laughs> yeah. square you really have, you, used to have events there and here where this box is was a big lydro uh, with a stage in and oh, uh, wow. oh it was wonderful yeah. and in the dean there was huts for first aid Hood, lost children um, you know yeah and they had beauty con competitions we, we so the mess that's on the beach now, in years gone by, I probably contributed towards that mess, but we didn't have much other option. That was the working side of it. So we've got coast, sea, fields, and Castle Eden Dee, three and a half mile of natural, okay. natural, old yeah. England, yew trees, all old England, ancient, ancient. <laughs> And I think that's what it's here for. It's not, for me, I'm, 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 I would say past it now, but it's for, it's for the youth. It's something, their legacy, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to leave them something. What's, uh -huh. We should be leaving them something, thanks. We've ruined the pits, yeah. we've ruined the beaches years ago. Now let's put it right, let's have something left for our, for our children.